It's 19 now, faves and neighbors of the delicious, and we are making the taste of fall. I mean, when you talk about fall, we're thinking butternut squash and everything, yes, right? Yeah, well, this is one of my favorite fall soups. I've probably 10 years now. Okay. And it's super simple and it's healthy and yes. it freezes awesome. So All right. if you want to make a big batch, it's good for like like you said to make earlier in the week and for even. That's what I plan to do. I'm getting this recipe okay. as soon as she done. So okay. <laughs> so what, so how do we start with this off here? Okay. So we start, every good recipe starts with a little butter. Okay. A little olive oil and we sweat our onions. So the onions I sweated first for almost 10 minutes so they're nice and like soft and uh -huh. that's that delicious smell. Okay. And then we add some apples and get those soft. Okay. And then our butternut squash, which actually you can buy peeled and cubed at Kroger in fall. So okay. if you don't want to deal with like, you know, cutting up the butternut squash, it's kind of hard to do. Mm. Um, you can buy it free squash, it's free diced, which is always nice. All right. So, so I don't like the dice. Up. I will tell you that. You I don't like dice. Dice. <laughs> I don't like to dice, cut. I want it already cut. Well, then Kroger makes that easy for you. Yes. So, and then what we do is we actually, before we add any liquid, we add the spices now. Okay. So the smells bloom and make it really like strong. Okay. We're basically like sauteing the spices. So we're using just a basic sweet Madras curry powder. Okay, curry powder. Why the curry powder? Why curry powder? Um, just give it, you'll, once you taste it, it gives it like this nice, it's not, it's still American, I guess, but it gives it this like, I don't know, it adds a little cumin okay. and a little bit of coriander. Um, and almost a heat to it, okay. kind of. So you mix it on in. I mm -hmm. smell it already. Yeah, so you see, and when you cook it like this, you can see it's starting to brown really well. And all those spices just get extra strong if you cook mm -hmm. them in the butter, yep. rather than just add them to the liquid. This looks really good already. It's and dark. And then um, you can add apple juice, apple cider, or hard apple cider if okay. you want a little booze in there. Okay. You always do that. A little boozy soup is always good for you. And when we pour this in, see it bubbles up. We're going to scrape all those brown bits mm -hmm. off the bottom of the pan so that all that flavor gets into the soup. Okay. Okay. Now what's this? This is our chicken stock. This is homemade, so it's a little more gelatinous than you would buy from the store. Okay. Um, but it'll, well, as soon as it heats up, it'll... No, no, everything will net on it. Yeah. On it. Yeah. So is it better homemade? Um, is it better homemade? I think it's yes, but not everyone has time to make it homemade. Gotcha. And we don't always have time to make it homemade, so, you know, it'll still be delicious if you don't have it. It smells like just a fall kitchen right now in here. Mm -hmm. And then a little salt and pepper to taste. And of course, you can taste at the end as well. But I always suggest adding a little bit in to start. Okay. Um, kosher salt. So now this will sit and we'll um, bring it to a simmer. And you'll cook it for about like 15 or 20 minutes until that squash is soft. Okay. And then you can use either your regular blender or my favorite hand blender and just buzz it up to a nice okay, so um, consistency. Yes. Yeah, so this would be, you can see how we've already pureed this and this is what it will look like at the end. So I was asking you about what was in this mm -hmm. and because it's so creamy, mm -hmm. I thought that you maybe added some cream no. or added there and you didn't add anything. No. And if you want to make it vegan, just skip the butter okay. or use Earth Balance instead, but it's vegetarian and can easily be made vegan. Okay. Super healthy. You can add cream at the end, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it needs either. So I have my little spoon here yeah. to taste it. So it's if like if you like it spicy, you can add or with a little more heat, you can add mm. um cayenne at the end to give it a little bit more a little bit. A little kick, yeah. This is so good. But isn't the curry give it that kind of it kind of makes the flavors a little more more full. And I can it feels it tastes spicy. I don't feel like I need any extra. I don't think it so. Will be, it will be adding a little bit. If you really like curry powder, you can add more. Yeah, this is really good. So this recipe, she's gonna give it to me, so I'm gonna post it too. Yeah. But okay. she's gonna put it on our website, boxnutina.com. Everybody knows I love my, my fall recipes, so this is a perfect recipe for the fall to weather. Hopefully it starts to feel like fall, so we can start to I know, I'm outside. ready. I want to start braising and yeah. stewing and Done with making more soup. <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you so much. We're going to yeah, get this welcome. recipe online if you want to get this one super easy, super quick. We'll be right back. Two and a half minutes with the final check of the forecast. Yeah.